average Christian measure themselves by other Christians. A normal Christian imitates Christ. Radical Christianity is normal Christianity. This is the normal Christian life. Let me introduce you to my friends, John and Pat. John and Pat have been saved for eight months, have been set free from drugs and alcohol and let everyone know about it. His life is just going to be um, radically changed. So you're going to pour so much love in his heart, Lord Father God. John and Pat may be new Christians, but if there's one thing they know, it's that Jesus set them free and that he could do the same for others. I've been addicted to alcohol for ages, man, and Jesus has come in my life and just took it away in, in, at an instant. Just took it completely away, man. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for Cliff today. We've got open heaven right now. In Jesus' name we pray that whatever's holding him back, we command to come out in the name of Jesus. We believe Jesus will heal you. Uh, it's not going to help you. Oh, he'll help you. He helped me, man. He broke addiction. He's, he broke my addiction. No for drug me. addiction. I got to... Yeah. Now tell me because I've seen I've this seen the thing. It's shattered. No, I believe I really got faith that he will heal you. Uh, he, he can make. I, I did all this. I've been okay. through faith in everything that he can do. Okay. Do you mind if I just quickly pray for you for one minute? And yeah, just sure. okay. What's your name? Mark. Mark, and where's the pain at the back right here? Lower just show back. lower back. He's had a shattered back for about, I'm saying, 28 years or something that doctors couldn't fix. And we believe that now in the name of Jesus, for his um, stripes we are healed, that the healing power right now is going to come in the name of Jesus, because you love him so much, Heavenly Father. How does that feel? Can you move? Yeah, okay. You have no worries, man. We'll just um, share the love around him. This is what we do. No we worries, do this Thank you very much, Mark. Share the love. Okay, yep. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Mark. Before letting Mark go, John wanted to pray for him again. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for Mark and his beautiful family. That you're gonna pour so much love and you know there's gonna be healing. I believe there's gonna be healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pain, I'll be at the pub. Okay, thank you very much. You. Yep, uh, no worries. Try it again one more time before you go. We often see it just healed like that, not joking. It's, it's all shattered. How's it feeling? Yeah, no. Mark walked away with pain still in his back, but instead of creating theologies as to why he wasn't healed, John and Pat simply believe this. We just believe it. We've got that faith to go out and pray for everyone. And just because we love him so much, because Jesus, God so much loved us, yet he gave us his son, so we so much love him that we give ourselves for him. And instead of being discouraged as Mark walked off, these were John's words. I can feel something in his back when I was praying. Then the extraordinary happened. As he was walking off, he just came back and started screaming. It feels different. Yeah. It does. It does. Yeah. Feel lucid? Hallelujah. Whoa. No, Jesus loves you, brother. It's what did you do? I just prayed for you. We got faith. Heal it's you. Jesus. We don't do nothing. No. We don't, oh, it's all His glory. We just pray. Go right down. Go yeah, right down. You can do that ah, before. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. He loves you. There's no more painkillers, man. Did you it feel something when we were praying? You I'm feel, walking away. I'm jiggling. Yeah. Fucking dance. Yeah. <laughs> hey, brother. Whoa. He loves you, bro. Jesus healed you. He loves you. He loves like you. What this? Woo. He Woo. couldn't do that before. Oh, really? See, isn't that amazing? I couldn't bend like this, walk up the stairs like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, walk down here. Oh, it's cold, okay. I'm going to go for a Now, look. Oh, look. awesome. Yes. 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 Yeah, brother. Oh, he loves you Serious, so man. I'm not Oh, believe you, man. Mate. Yeah. He's completely gone. He's been in that pain for years. Nothing. Nothing. He loves you. He loves you, man. He loves you. It's, 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 it's Jesus, man. It's Jesus. It's not me. It's, it's heaven, man. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah, you did it, man. 
No, no, nah, Jesus Where's the done magic? it. Jesus. No, nah, Jesus is the magic. We don't do nothing. And he's trying to give me all the praise. It's all me. I, I just told him, no, it's all Jesus. Ah, oh, serious. Jesus. This is God. <laughs> he couldn't do that. It was that much pain. God did it. For years oh, and years. I oh, love you. <laughs> Whoa, touched him. Yes. Doctors can't do that. No, no, no. God can. He can do anything. The gospel means the good news, yet so many Christians hide it. But when the reality of God breaks into someone's life, the most normal thing is to share the good news, whether they've known God for eight months or eight seconds. Oh, oh this is awesome. Are you serious? This is serious, eh? Wow. This guy here came for me and touched me. Look down. We just believe in Jesus, man. We just believe that He's out just there to it. heal people and it's all through His name. I thought you guys are scaring me. You're excellent. They're going to want money or something. Nah. I'm walking down the road. I feel the thing going in my back. Yeah. I'm going to go back. You need prayer, bro. You got it's pain in your body. You got it too. Yeah. 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 yeah, awesome. Jesus just healed him, man. Jesus just healed him because we believe yeah. him. Serious. I couldn't touch. I couldn't win over. I yeah. Saw. No, so I'm not so, mate. I'm <laughs> it's him. All the glory goes to he him, not me. It's all right, bro. It's all right. It's Jesus, man. It's Jesus. It's Jesus, man. It's Jesus, man. He loves you. He loves you, bro. He loves you. He loves you so much, man. I love you so much too, man. I pay the God. Heavenly you Father, guys. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Mark today. Lord Father God, you knitted him in his mother's womb. God's not looking for golden vessels. He's not looking for silver vessels. He's looking for yielded vessels. I didn't believe and this guy prayed for me and I'm healed and I'm so happy. I've been in pain for years and, and nothing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you. you that you've healed me. Thank you that you've healed me. Thank you that you're real. Thank you that you're real. Jesus is real. Man. He's real. He yeah. healed come me. On. God, come into my heart. God, come into my heart. I give you my life. I give you my life. It's yours. It's yours. Holy Spirit, come live in here. Holy Spirit, come live in here. From this day and forever. Amen. From this day and forever. Amen. 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 Come on, man. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy come Spirit here, in Jesus' name. Right. He's our father, he loves uh, us so much. He's my father. Now this is the amazing works of Jesus Christ. This is everyday so Christian living that we pour out our love. Our, our job here on earth is to love everyone the same way Jesus does. Now everyone watching this video right now, be imitators of Christ. It's now been three and a half weeks since we prayed for Mark. We contacted him yesterday and he's been completely pain free ever since. He wants to connect with us and we're really excited. As you can see by John and Pat's life, this is not some special lifestyle for anointed ministers, but it's for every Christian. I believe this video will be a catalyst to see many lives change. So how can you get involved? First of all, share this video. I believe it's extremely important for people to see what God is doing. And if you have any testimonies from your life, Post them on your wall with a hashtag, Normal Christian Life. We're going to have more episodes out weekly and we can't wait to hear your testimonies. Next time, I got me and my son here, Levi, and we heard some, some really cool words of knowledge for the guys over on the job site next door. I felt like one guy's got carpal tunnel, also like a smashed knee from years and years ago, like a motor accident. So we're going to go and deliver those words to these guys. It's going to be amazing. I feel like one of you guys actually has carpal tunnel. Felt like um, one of you guys actually had like a motorbike accident and busted your knee.